In this video, I'm just going to cover how to use the IP Cam Viewer Lite app to add one of our cameras over the Envy protocol. Now, please keep in mind the Envy protocol is going to have a lot of delay. When compared to using the DMSS app on the left hand side, that is directly compatible with our IP cameras. So, I'm first going to open up the IP Cam Viewer app. It's going to take me to the Manage Camera screen. In order to add an Avalonix IP camera, I'm going to use the scan camera option here. It's going to uh, pre fill my information from my camera. Again, this would be found on the label on the box for your camera, uh, default username and I, uh, password, and then also the default IP address of 192.168.1.109. I can tap the scan now button to scan my local network for the OnView camera with those specifications. Again, you can see it's going to search the device under the OnView camera protocol. It's already pulled up a result for that camera, so I can go ahead and click the cancel button so it doesn't go through all the rest of the devices. Here I can tap on the OnView camera result, and it's pre-filled all of the information in here. The only thing that you need to do is set a channel number. In this case, it would be channel 1. And then you can tap the save icon at the top left-hand side to save the setup for this camera. We can back out of the scan camera option. Here we can see we have camera 1 added. I didn't rename the camera. I can also go back. And here it's going to bring me into a grid screen with the camera. Uh, now I can't really control the PTZ controls on this camera. It happens to be a 4MP PTZ. It's upside down. Um, so again, the controls might be inversed because uh, I have the camera sitting on a flat surface on a table. In order to access the PTZ commands, I'm going to tap the down caret here. And as you can see, that van in the background is looking okay as far as it goes, but then there is a little bit of jumping around. Now that's due to the Envy protocol in this app using the Envy protocol to access the camera. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and initiate one of the PTZ commands. I'm going to hit the down arrow here. You can see that the pan tilt was initiated. I've gone ahead and done that but you can see the camera didn't move at all yet because it hasn't caught up. Finally, after about three or four seconds, the Envy protocol was able to send the video after it sent the command to the camera, and we can see there was a significant delay there. Now, to avoid that delay, you would, of course, want to use the DMSS app that is directly compatible with the camera. However, please note, if you do have a slow network or an older router on your local network, you still may experience some of those, those delays, or if you're viewing the camera over the internet using its P2P serial number, you may experience some of those delays because it is sending video over the internet. Hopefully this video helps. Thank you for watching.